Charles Malky, biologist and plant expert with Ivy Organics where we grow cool plants. And today I'm asking you for your opinion on what I should do with my bananas. We're now here in the first week of December and last night we had winds between 30 to 50 miles per hour and um, wind chills that were in the 40s and um, our temperature for the week is between 60s um, and our nighttime lows between the upper 40s to lower 50s. And um, what I'm asking is, as you can see behind me, I've got a whole bunch of bananas and they're still green. The plant went into bloom in early September. So we got September, October, November, and now here we are in December. And what I do know is that when temperatures fall below, um, some research says 55 degrees and others say 50, but let's say between 55 and 50 degrees, when the temperatures are that cold or colder, the plant growth stops. And as you can see with the plant leaves above, with those um, fast winds that we had, those leaves got shredded. And the bad part about this rest of the winter, with our colder temperatures, these plants are not gonna replace its leaves until more likely than not come March and April, when it'll be able to put out another leaf. Um, and then during the summer, it'll put out a leaf on average once a week. And we're talking about with growth once a week, I got my measuring tape here. But with growth once a week, we're talking about here's one leaf and here's a second leaf that was pruned off. We're talking about a gr growth as fast as eight inches, eight inches per week. Um, and that's at its peak. But now being winter and the plant's metabolism is slower, we're not gonna experience practically any growth from now until early um, to possibly mid spring, depending on where you live. And we're here situated in Los Angeles, California. So my question to you, the viewer, is on average, when the plant goes into bloom, and actually let me first share a few um, pictures of what the plant looked like when it was in bloom, which was back in early September. Check this out. went into bloom early September and now here we are over three months later on and on average if this was the growing season being spring and summer and even early fall it would have gone into um, fruit production and I believe it should be changing colors um, research says between three to four months so I and I feel pretty skeptical that it's gonna actually be changing color in December when the temperatures are this cold so my question to you is one of two things do I harvest the bananas now and and allow them to ripen, they usually say in a cool, dry place, or should I just leave them on the plant, some research says, all the way until next spring, meaning we're gonna have to wait another three to four more months for us to get out of this cold season and then allow the warmer temperatures to then ripen the plant, um, the fruits on the plant. Check out the um, fruits. Let's get a little closer so you, the viewers, can um, help and educate and write your comments down below in regards to what would you do if this was your banana, um, and this here is of the ice cream banana variety. Um, check this out, let's get a little close up. And let me get you another view as well. So this is the view from up above. One other thing I want you to observe, we're standing here in the garden, you can see how much shade there is, and surprisingly, this is close to high noon. Um, we're positioned on a hillside, and if we were on the other side of the hill, um, I'm sure we'd be experiencing a lot more sun, but this is another phenomenon in this garden, being on a hillside, 
um, is that we have to sit in the shade almost three months out of every single year. Um, the north side of the garden is to my right and the south side of the garden is to my left and I can actually see the sun between the two homes. Um, and again, being on the hillside, those homes are actually casting huge shadow on the majority of my garden. And take a look at how much sun those leaves are getting. It's a very minimal amount of sun that those plants are getting. Um, and the hours are just a few hours a day of light that these plants are able to get. So again, I'm going to ask the question, should I harvest the bananas now, before Christmas, or are we going to wait till after Christmas and possibly spring? So please share your comments and I'm looking for those banana experts to put in those um, comments and feedback down below. But one other thing I want to share with you before I let you go is I got to share my Ivy Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard Paint product. Um, we're going to go and take a look at that over here. So in another part of our garden, I've got here my apple variety, I believe it's called the Manzano banana variety, which is grown over here. And in front of it, I've got another variety of bananas. And ideally, they'd be spaced a lot more, but space is limited here, and I'm still just experimenting with flavors. Um, and over time, I usually pick my favorite of the varieties and continue to harvest those and give the other ones away. But this one here is of the um, Goldfinger variety of bananas as well. And what we did when we first installed it in the middle of summer was we coated it. If you take a look at the leaves, you might notice that it's got some white um, spots on it. And those spots are the Ivy Organics product. And what it does, if we take a look over here, here's the can. It basically says Ivy Organic. It's a three-in-one tree guard paint where you just add water to natural tree trunk and branch barrier protection against damaging sunburn and insects and rodents for use on your roses, fruit, nut trees, ornamental trees, and shrubs. And it's a non-toxic, environmentally safe, and organic product. And over here it says protects newly installed plants and trees, and that's what we used it for when we installed the banana. And it shields prune and damaged surfaces as well. Um, so take a look at that. And the other thing I wanted to share with you is this gold label is that um, by late winter to early spring, all of our products will actually have the stamp where it says registered material for use in organic agriculture, Washington State Department of Agriculture. So it's now um, certified organic for farm use as well. Um, and I got my spray bottle to basically demonstrate that what we would do is put about two teaspoons of the product in a spray bottle and then simply spray the leaves to offer a protection against um, sunburn, which is another stress that the plant would be experiencing had it been in a sunny place. But as you can see, the plant's now in the shade and the goal is hopefully we're going to be able to pull it through winter um, with these minimal light conditions. So if you found this video informative, be sure to like it. Most importantly, subscribe down below so you'll be connected to all the other educational gardening videos by Ivory Organics. And also, be sure to subscribe so that you'll be following up and getting the answers to what ultimately happens with um, our harvest of ice cream bananas. Thanks again for watching, and happy gardening. <laughs>